Although the ideal image acquisition settings vary depending on the application and sample, two common parameters are excitation light intensity and exposure time. This video shows tools and tips to optimize them. The first tool is a histogram. A histogram is a plot to express the distribution of the signal intensity. To understand how a histogram works, imagine that you captured an image with your microscope digital camera. In this image, each pixel has a signal intensity. In a histogram, the x-axis represents the signal intensity, and the height at each x shows the number of pixels for each signal intensity. In this example, we have four pixels of intensity at level 10, so the histogram height at 10 is four. There are five pixels of intensity nine, and four pixels of intensity eight. A histogram can be used to optimize your acquisition settings, such as the exposure time. When the exposure time is appropriate, you can ideally see separated peaks related to the background area and bright areas. But an exposure time that's too short will dim the signal and merge the two peaks. In the case that the brightest pixel is too close to the background level, check if the exposure time and excitation intensity are appropriate. In contrast, an exposure time that's too long will saturate the signal and create a sharp cliff at the maximum signal level. In this case, reduce the excitation intensity or shorten the exposure time. Some image acquisition software have an automated display adjustment feature that defines the link between signal intensity and the displayed brightness. You can change the brightness on the display to improve visibility while maintaining the original image data. A histogram and the display adjustment feature are useful tools for quickly optimizing your image acquisition settings. Try them out on your experiments to improve your imaging. To learn more about digital imaging best practices, visit www.olympus-lifescience.com.